Vietnam notebook. This is the story of an adventure I took with my kid back in 2012. Vietnam was just one of those places on our list, a place we always wanted to go. Two people, right? Yes, two people. This was our first morning. It was that kind of tired where it was physically painful to get out of bed. We were super jet lagged. the leg one of our journey. Taking a train from Connecticut to New York and then a plane from New York to Tokyo. American, grab a hold of something as you move up and down the aisle like the seat back cushions uh, north of uh, New York. Tokyo to Vietnam, it was like a, a day and a half of travel. All right, just get over there. Visa information is not in my notebook. We're only 44 minutes behind. In the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. Also, it's 12 hours ahead here. That doesn't really have much bearing on my like screwing up. You see, every year towards the end of the summer, right before we had to go back to school, I would take Owen on a big father-son trip. Vietnam was our 10th year in a row. This was our first trip, 2002, in the Bahamas. It was something I took a lot of pride in, something that was important to me because as a kid, it's something I always wanted. And as a parent, it was a way of kind of alleviating the guilt I had from working so much. But mainly, I just love sharing new experiences with my boy. I thought it was one, two, three days, but it's actually one, two, three days. It's okay. This is where you get a motorcycle in Vietnam. The idea behind this particular adventure was to get a motorcycle, stick Owen on the back, and then drive through the Vietnam countryside. A couple of things I learned quickly. A lot of scooters in Vietnam, not a lot of motorcycles. I found a guy who said he could get us a motorcycle, then we got there and it was a scooter, so then we waited while they put together a motorcycle that they eventually gave to us. That's the bike, that's our bike right there. That little blue thing. Okay, so we start here. Yes. Going to the Huabin, I would say Huabin. So we come from here. Yeah, to my child. To here. Yes. And then to here. First ride on the bike. There are no words that can describe the lawlessness that is driving in Hanoi. I'd ridden a motorcycle in New York City for years, but riding in Hanoi was different. It was... It was chaos. about two hours into our motorcycle journey. It's much calmer now. I wouldn't say that it's calm. It's calmer. It's not calm. Eventually we escaped the city and uh, 
landed somewhere that looked a lot more like what I had imagined Vietnam looking like. So this is snake wine. It's snakes in there. With some bees. Snakes and snakes and bees and honey. And I guess they just let it ferment. And that's snake wine. And this is just all bumblebees here. What does it taste like? Well, it's the fruit together with the rice wine. And after you drink rice wine, it's something coming out from the snake. Ah. Owen just had his fourth choco pie of the day. Look at your teeth. Hold on, let me see your teeth. Give me a smile. <laughs> let me see those teeth. Let me see them. I know I made it seem like this was an adventure movie. A story about riding a motorcycle through the jungles of Vietnam. But it's not. This, this is a nostalgia movie. This is a movie about what my relationship was like with my kid four years ago. See, when I think of my time with my dad, I only remember moments. Moments of he and I in the car together, moments around holidays. I gotta tell you what's yours. Don't take a picture of me But I was one of four kids. He had a full-time job. We never had solid blocks of time together. And when I look back at my relationship with Owen, all I remember are these huge chunks of time that we set aside just to be with each other. We're rearranging all the furniture in our sleeping quarters to optimize exposure to the fans because it's 99 degrees up here with 99% humidity. Careful, don't knock down the curtains. the bridge we just crossed. I don't know that I'd call it super safe. Seems fine. Owen has a little fan club over here. <laughs> the motorcycle trip was like four days. It was fun. It was hard. It was fun. first day and a half, Owen didn't have a seat. He was sitting on the aluminum cage on the back of the bike. As passenger on the motorcycle, Owen's seat, which is this metal right here, is not terribly comfortable. So we're going to appropriate this pad for additional cushioning. What's the problem? I used an old inner tube to attach the cushion. I think it's pretty good. Comfy. We weren't going 
going anywhere. There was no mission. No real finish line, no destination. Oh, is that your baby? It was entirely a journey of experience. And along the way, there were things that really stuck out, and it was the weirdest things. Like, I don't think either of us will ever forget the hot water heater in this house we stayed in. Okay, this is where we're staying. Describe to me the shower wiring situation. Well, we've just got a live wire. Um... See, this is the shower here. That's the hot water heater there. Raw wires there. Amazing situation here. The Bankai shower situation. Danger. I literally have no idea how we ended up in a boat with two women and a baby. Watch your head. I see some light over there. <laughs> this is Owen peeing in the middle of downtown. <laughs> downtown. I couldn't no. see. <laughs> you couldn't see anything. No. You're gonna have to trust your father. <laughs> We eventually made it back to Hanoi. The motorcycle adventure was over. We did run out of gas on our way back. We ran out of fuel. But the trip wasn't over. We spent the night exploring the city, and then the next day we thought... 35% alcohol by volume, so it's about as strong as vodka. And it comes in a one gallon plastic jug. It cost three dollars. We didn't buy the booze, but we did decide to spend our last couple days in Vietnam going on a boat trip. You see our boat yet? It definitely looks attractive. Let's hope so. Now, for whatever reason, I don't have a lot of footage from this boat trip, but I do know that there were some other American tourists on the boat with us, and, and well, doing karaoke, I got terrifically drunk off of very inexpensive wine. I just go to say I love you. I spent most of the night peeking overboard while Owen was asleep, and the next day on the boat didn't do much of anything. That was kind of where our Vietnam adventure ended. Now, my intention for this was to make a travel video. It, instead though, I found myself editing four-year-old footage and experiencing this time with my kid all over again. Do you remember our trip to Vietnam? Uh-huh. What do you remember of that trip? What do you think of when you think of that trip? Cruise, the biking. Do you miss trips like that now that you're now that you're old? Do you miss trips like that? Yeah, completely. <clears throat> completely. Yeah. Now, there is nothing in life that highlights just how fast time passes, like watching your kids grow up. And to see this, knowing what the next four years of parenting was. I guess, to look back, if there was one thing I would have done differently, it would have been to go on more of these adventures with my boy. But that's the thing, you can't change the past. I am glad though that I can look back on this time. I can look through these video clips and read this notebook.